Okay, so in this video, I just want to quickly demonstrate how you can pass uh, web browser histories such as index.dat files from Internet Explorer. Um, that's I'm only going to cover Internet Explorer in this video, and then I'll do a separate one for the likes of Mozilla Firefox uh, and things like that. But the theory should still be the same anyway. So uh, I just want to create the, the videos in smaller chunks. So in this uh, scenario, I've created a new case. I'm going to add an image to it. Uh, which is this NTFS one. We click OK. Xways Forensics adds the image and passes the partition as you'd expect. And this is the general way of working with Xways Forensics. Full stop. It does that initial pass of the partition, which is usually very quick, and for quick triage and things like that, very useful. Um, but what it won't do off the bat, uh, deliberately, because it doesn't want to waste time doing things that you don't need is pass all the various bits and pieces such as email cabinets, uh, web histories, uh, expand and explore zip files and raw files, um, uh, look for encrypted files and things like that. That's all part of the refine volume snapshot feature. So uh, having added the forensic image, uh, I've just remembered I think I've... Uh, no, I haven't, that's all okay. So I haven't got any filters on as you can see just yet. So we can look through the directories no problem. Now obviously most of us will probably know where an index.dat file will live um, and we can go manually looking for it if we want. And as you can see before you've done anything with the volume snapshot, if you click on one of these index.dat files, you get a view in the preview pane, um, some legible text, but not quite as nice as what you can potentially have it. My first thing to quickly demonstrate is, for starters, if that's all you wanted to do, and you had several forensic images in here, and you just quickly wanted to find the index.dat files, part of the incredibly useful filtering options of Actuos Forensics is all these options here, but within internet, you've got history.dat and index.dat which I applied earlier just before I tested this. So uh, I can activate that and then just recursively explore from the case root so it'll do it for all the forensic images that I've got and it will list all the index.dat files uh, and again at this point uh, it can't do anything with it. So what we do to change that is go to specialist refine volume snapshot in fact actually I just want to apply it to that one, yeah. I just want to do this one particular index.dat file, but uh, I don't need to tag individual files. I could just apply the volume snapshot to all the files in the case. Uh, but for speed, I just want to do it to that one file. So I'm going to go specialist for find volume snapshot. And all we do in order to be able to view this information in a more tangible way is tick that box: ex extract internal metadata, browser history, and more. And there's a further ellipsis here to tick, uh, to check, sorry, uh, which you can customize if you want to. But the one of relevance here is create previews for browser databases, event logs, and so on. And you can customize how your finished uh, rendering will look. But I'm just going to leave it at the defaults. Out of interest, uh, I'm using version 16.6, .6, which is the most recent version that I've got. Uh, I'm going to apply to tagged files only. Again, if you weren't doing individual files you could just use that one uh, which would do all the files apart from the ones that you've hashed out already uh, or you could do that one to have it just do it to literally everything in the case but I'm just going to do it to that one I click OK it will ask me what images I want to apply it to well there's only one in this one so that's that click OK uh, it's passed the file so now if we ask it to recursively show me that files again and I click on that one, as you can now see, it's rendered all the information, the URLs, uh, various user profile information, titles about the web page, uh, and so on. And this is now obviously fully renderable, and you can scroll up and down and have a browse. Um, but you might think, well, how do I send that to someone, or how do I look at it like that? What you'll notice is that the index.dat file has now got the, the little ellipsis and a, a number in the brackets to suggest that it's got child objects. If we double click that file, 
it will ask us if we want to view or explore it. If we click explore, it will list what Xways Forensics has created, which is a child HTML file, a virtual file in effect. The virtual file I think is by that icon, uh, the fact that it's, if I just check in the legend, yeah, virtual file listed for examination purposes. So it is not a file which was on the original suspect's disk. That's an important point to note. But what you can do with it is you can now just simply go, uh, if you right click it, uh, viewing the associated program, it will just open it in your web browser. Like so. And obviously that file you could then export and include it as part of the report or whatever you wanted to do. Very useful, very powerful. Um, good feature.